What's going on? I thought I'd make a quick little vlog for you guys and let's do a toolbox tour of the box I used when I worked at the dealership. All right, and before we get started, I wanted to say that you don't need all these tools to start off with working in a dealership environment or any shop environment, especially if all you're gonna be doing is just changing oil, which most of you will be starting at when you start working professionally at this because not a lot of shops are going to give you the reins to just go in there and tear apart a customer's car without any basis on how to put it together. They want to make sure that you can do the work and you can do it reliably, so most shops will start you with changing oil. But not to say that they will, but that's what's mostly going to happen. When I first started, I had this toolbox right here. I borrowed some tools from my grandfather. And I started changing oil at a local Dodge dealership. Did it for a few years working there. I moved up in the ranks and actually started fixing customer cars there. So I had this toolbox right here for probably the first six months until I got up enough money, bought some tools off a truck, in which case I went to Harbor Freight and bought their three-tier toolbox which I had that for years and I use it now to keep straps in that I use to tie things down and stuff like that you know but it's nice to keep your first toolbox around if you can I know some of you can't but I have mine it's not much to look at but I still got it okay guys this right here is the snap-on KLR series box and up in here in the top drawer is where I keep all my sockets and I try to keep it organized but it doesn't always work and there's just a few drawers that I refuse to keep organized they always get jumbled up every time you open and close them so I just don't bother with it anymore Next drawer down is one of those drawers I was just mentioning. I never keep this drawer organized. It always gets jumbled around. But in here I keep my pliers and my long blower that I built. If you're ever working on Fords in a dirty environment, I recommend you have one of those. Fords have those top-down spark plug holes that love to get full of dirt. And that is great for blowing them out because you don't have to have your face right by it. And that's just nice. This is where I keep my screwdrivers and T-handles. I don't keep this drawer particularly organized. I'm in and out of here too much to try to do that. But I do put everything back in its drawer. And here's another one of those drawers that I refuse to keep organized, and that's my wrenches. Every time I try to organize it, I shut the door and they move all over. I should buy some of those wrench holders, but it's just not high on my priority list, so I'm not going to bother with it. Here I keep a variety of different tools, my vacuum pump, my tap and die set drill bits, easy outs, stuff like that, a few specialty tools. Basically, if I gotta be in this drawer, I'm probably pretty upset, so we'll just leave it at that. Down in this drawer, I keep my torque wrenches, my harmonic balancer puller, a torque angle gauge, which is no longer necessary thanks to modern day torque wrenches, a puller, and my little quick scanner there. That thing has been the best little thing I've ever bought for pulling codes on cars. It's great. And this is where I keep all the tools that are in a box. That they need to stay in the box because if you take it out of the box you never find all the pieces again. And I got a mixture of everything in here. I got some Harbor Freight, some Snap-on, some Lyle, just a little bit of everything. 
got my airlift kit right here so you can suck a vacuum on the coolant and fill it that way I got my Harbor Freight brake caliper twister right there that's a really good kit from Harbor Freight I recommend that you know I got my snap-on fuel pressure tester you know I got my Lyle um, Ford spark plug tools I don't know what they were thinking when they made that uh, two-piece spark plug, but, well, it's made me a lot of money. All right. This right here is my drawer that I keep all my receipts, papers, pens, just stuff like that in there. Nothing out of the ordinary. You know, just that paper drawer. Every toolbox has a paper drawer. In here I keep my measuring tools, got a nice assortment of them, some of them are Harbor Freight, but they get the job done. And here I try to keep most of my air tools, well, the smaller air tools anyway, and all the attachments for them and whatnot. All the little sanding discs, oils, all that good stuff. This drawer in here, I keep my AC gauges, a couple straps. This is my camera. And then I have a brake tool kit. This is my cylinder leak down tester right here. And that right there is my uh, electronic stethoscope. And this right here is my random drawer, silicones, little fittings, stuff I can't throw away. Just a whole bunch of nonsense like that. And that's what I keep in there. Okay, in this drawer I was keeping receipts for the hood rat. I also have a whole bunch of brake fittings in here from when I was doing the brakes on it. But I try to keep my hammers and pry bars in this drawer. It's a mess right now, but, you know, that's how toolbox gets. In here I keep my punches, my allen wrenches, my chisels, my bits, my impact driver, which apparently is rusty, which that's annoying, I'll have to clean that. But that's what I keep in here. Then in here is my electrical drawer. I know it looks really disorganized, but that's just because I keep everything in bags. Like I got a bag full of relays here, zip ties, heat shrink, fuses, my meter, keep the tape, everything in here. I'm in that drawer a lot. And then this right here is where I keep my impact guns, my cutoff saw, my impact hammer, all that stuff right here. I really love this snap-on box because they have these organizers right here. It makes it real easy to keep them all nice and organized and neat. <laughs> Alright guys, that's my toolbox. Like I said, this has been a good toolbox for me, but I did not get this toolbox till probably maybe five years ago. And before that, I had a Craftsman box that was their 44 inch, uh, they had the 44 inch chest. I had that for years. And I mean years. I probably had that for 10 years. That was a very good box for me. The reason why I bought this one as well, I kind of let my Stamp On dealer talk me into it. But I don't regret it. It's been a good box, and I really do like it. But anyway, guys, I want to say thank you.
for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. If you like what you see here, tell your friends. Tell me down in the comments what are some of your favorite tools that you have. What's your favorite brand of tool? And if you guys want to see more tool related content, be sure to like this video and I will do more tool related content in the future. Thank you guys. Catch you later.